going to do is like random dirty stuff. So I'm going to do um a grocery haul because I got some things from the grocery store. I didn't get everything. Like I still need. Hold on, I think I have my list here. My list is in my wallet. shopping for her and myself Monday because I still need some more vegetables. I got really focused on starch and I'm pretty good on starch now so I'm really thinking about just veggies to eat like at night and stuff like that. So I have to get some fresh veggies. Um, I've got a couple of snacks. So I really need like probably two more bags of snacks and some lemon juice. Probably some hummus, maybe. Maybe I'll make my own. I know I need some pita bread for sure. Because I wanted to make protein brownies as well, so I think I'm going to do that recipe with some coconut oil. Yeah, I just really need veggies and um, just some grapefruit. Veggies, grapefruit, and snacks. Just really veggies, grapefruit, and snacks. And everything else is pretty much dead. And the coconut and the um, almond milk, I'll probably most likely use that for um, my protein shake. So. And when I don't have it, I'll use water. Because water is not that bad, but you do have to make it work. So not too much more stuff. But let me show you what I did pick up. I didn't weigh in yet because I wasn't able to use the bathroom. I prefer to weigh in after I use the bathroom so I can see if maybe in an hour or so I'll use the bathroom. But I'm waiting on my weigh in. So I'm not weighing in yet right now. So these will be separate videos or whatever. So let's do this. Picked up some baking cocoa. That's unsweetened. I'm pretty much gonna use this to make um I was a sodium free food. Cool. I'm gonna use I didn't pick up the name brand one. I actually it was cheaper than the dollar store, but I went to the dollar store last, so I just got the one from Food Lion. And I'm going to use this to make my chocolate protein waffles. I'm going to use this to make some, to try to make some protein brownies. And I also want to make protein waffles, protein brownies. And yeah, protein waffles, probably protein brownies, or protein cookies. So. That is what that's going to be for. It basically, on here it says for brownies, you just need margarine. I'm just going to use coconut oil, sugar. I'm going to use uh, unsweetened sugar, vanilla. I'm not going to pay attention to that. I don't really need that. Two eggs. I'm going to make chia eggs. The baking cocoa. And it says all purpose flour. I'm going to actually go get some oat flour. And that's it. So. All I really need is the oat flour, so I'm going to use this to make cocoa waffles. Because I've made unregular waffles before, but these will make really good cocoa waffles. 
So this is gonna be for brownies and cocoa waffles. And also just to put in my like my chia pudding too. So and it's vegan because it's just cocoa, that's all the ingredient. So that's the first item I got. Then I picked up some Boya yellow split peas. These were only 37 cents, so I picked these up because they were cheap. And these taste really good. They remind me of lentils. lentils. So they were cheap, and they are... How much protein? Oh, you get 11 grams of protein with one fourth a cup for 180 calories. Really, really good protein source. And I picked up... How many bags of these? I picked up two bags of these. So, these were a good buy. You get a lot of protein for cheap. Dirt cheap. A lot of protein. And I'm going to set these down here. And you know, um, these are on sale too. These are only 99 cents a bag. It just takes so long to cook, but I got some gorgonzo beans, aka chickpeas. These were 99 cents a bag, and I was running low, so I was like, I'm just going to get a bag. I think I just got one bag of these. I didn't get two. I just got one bag of these, so chickpeas. And protein for these, because I'm really trying to up my protein on this vegan diet. It's 8 grams of protein, which is really good for 110 calories. So. Oh, wow, I got a lot of these. Okay, and then I got some baby llama beans. These are... 8 grams of protein and only 7 calories. Good source of protein for not a lot of cow. And we have 3 of these bad boys. Because lima beans go really quick. And it's hot, so really good. that I wanted to show you guys and yeah I'm gonna do my way in after I do this video. Um okay, I'll show you guys they say this is comparable to Slenda. I got the zero calorie sweet and change it like sugar. This powder is really good for baking recipes I noticed so that's why I want powder one time. And it's about five hundred and fifty servings. And I just wanna make sure this is vegan. Let me see. I'm gonna double check. I have a is it vegan app, so I'll make sure and shopping in the store food line, it pissed me off a little bit just for the simple fact that you switched everything around and like there were no vegan burgers, so I'm gonna have to eat a vegan sausage for the 4th of July, which will be alright because at least I won't overeat. Okay, it's not up here, so I'm gonna have to go to Google. And it's kind of crazy. I think it's me.
I'm trying to see if it's vegan. I think it's called Wiener. Let's try. Let me see here. I'm going to actually look up the ingredients. Let's see if this is vegan. Sorry it's taking a few minutes, guys. I just want to make sure. I don't want to put something up here. I'm looking. Okay. It says basically the maltodroxin in this is a chemical deprived from starch. It can be extracted from any source of starch. It's primary from it's primarily um sourced from corn. So it is the vegan. So the maltodroxin this is vegan. And let me just check this other ingredient to make sure it's vegan because I believe in putting everything that's vegan. I don't want to mislead anybody because that's not cool. But, um, yeah, let me check this really quick and see. believe it's vegan. Okay, it says it's Okay, so for the most part, guys, it is an animal. It, I mean, like, this is the thing. This is a, this is comparable to Splenda. Splenda, actually, there, it's like circles. It's, that's what it has, like circles or circles. It's vegan. It's deprived from a plant, but they do test on animal stuff. So that's the icky part. I just want to know the product itself is a vegan. It is vegan. But will I be purchasing it again? I mean, only when I'm baking because um, this is what it is. I'll show you. Okay, this is what I picked up because it was a little bit cheaper. I mean, I'm glad I didn't get the Splenda because obviously they test on the animals. But this is comparable to Splenda. 
but it's blended actually test on animals, so I probably won't be buying their products, but as far as this, since it's not actually the Splenda brand, I'll get it. And it doesn't have any eggs or milk or anything like that, so I'll be picking this type of um, sweetener up. So, this is the sweetener I picked up, and it is vegan, so. And I'm going to use this just to make the waffle and cookies, um, protein cookies, and we'll make protein, um, I said protein brownies, yeah, protein brownies. So this is what I picked up quite a bit, and I actually got it because it has this little, the blocky bag, and I like it's resealable, so that's really cool. I like that because I like that. Yeah. And it also has a little section of, um, like, one teaspoon of this is one teaspoon of sugar, one cup of this is one cup of sugar, and blah, 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 blah. So, that's why I got that. And this is really easier instead of opening the package, which I still do have packets of sweetener. But this will be easier to put in um, a baking dishes. So, so that's for the protein waffles and just protein shakes and protein whatever and then I actually got I got three of these I have one in the kitchen right now that I'm going to put on my lunch and then I have one up there and I have one here so I bought three but I really have two because most likely I'm going to be using the first one that's in the kitchen and plus for the 4th of July so that's just mustard and mustard's just Vinegar, water, mustard seed, salt, turmeric, and paprika. So. And I got the food line brand mustard because it's cheap. I like mustard more than I like ketchup. I do not like ketchup. I'm not, not a ketchup person. Um, oh, yeah, I can't forget these. Yeah, let me scoot this back a little bit. Oh, these are so heavy. Oh, I got the biggest bag. Um, this is actually a 10 pound bag. Uh, I'm not going to be able to hold this up long. Oh. Potatoes. These are rustic potatoes and uh, this is a 10 pound bag so has about the yeah, 110 each. So it's a quite a bit of potatoes. I probably will be getting another bag. Actually, when I type that, it's not really quick because I'm still editing my old grocery list. Um, put that in here real quick. Yeah, but um, I got the big bag because. I needed something that was going to last a while, so these will definitely last a while. And those are just for potato dishes. When I want potato fries and potatoes, obviously. But, um, let's go ahead to the next item. Because it's cold. And I keep it in the refrigerator. Um, I bought a five pound bag of carrots. Yeah. Um, these will last a long time. These last a long time. Like, I should be good with carrots, though, but, yeah, they last quite a while. I usually put these in curries with the potatoes and a tofu or something like that, or I'll just probably use it to make my spring rolls, because I'm supposed to be making spring rolls, and I just have to get my zucchini for my spring rolls, but these are really good, too. I love carrots. Um, bag of onions, because I like onions, I actually still have onions, so I got another bag, so I'm going to start I'm using onions more, and plus I'm going to eat onions with my burgers, all my hot dogs, for the 4th of July, so, then, I picked up extra farm tofu, and regular tofu. And 
He's a really good source of protein, 97 grams of protein. This one is 8 grams of protein. And they last a really long time, non GMO, and they're only 199 so I actually have three of these. I have another one of this one right here. So, yeah. I like tofu. Tofu is a seafood. Um, the dollar store, I did check this. This is vegan. This is just regular dark chocolate. And um, I'm just going to eat snack on this every now and then. I'll probably put it, like, when I eat oatmeal. This will probably influence me to eat more oatmeal. But it is vegan. I checked all the ingredients. It's cheap, so I'm actually going to get some more of that from the dollar store dark chocolate. Because most likely I'll probably be going that way again. Because I know my boyfriend has to go do some shopping Monday, so I'll get another one of these maybe. If this one's gone, if this one's not gone, then I won't get any more. But I don't try to get too much dark chocolate because, you know. It's still chocolate, but every now and then, okay, don't make it a habit, but yeah. Um, oh yeah, I picked this particularly up for my waffle maker because every time I use coconut oil, it gets everywhere in my waffle maker, and the spray oil is so much better, and this is organic canola, and there's no saturated fat or no real oil in this. Oh. And it's certified organic. Okay, yeah. No artificial preservatives and no artificial colors or flavors. And that's the con organic canola. And I'll use this when I use my grill or when I use a pan so I don't be tempted to use oil all the time. This one here is avocado oil spray. I've always wanted to try this. Used for healthier cooking and dressing. And it's made from avocado oil. And I thought that would be useful since I'll be making a lot of protein waffles and whatnot. And these I'm actually going to use to put my waffles with bananas. I'll be using these to put in my waffles when I make my waffles, or just on the side with peanut butter. I'm not a big banana person. I probably won't get these again because I don't really necessarily need bananas in my waffles, but it's nice to put some in. I decided to pick this up. This is Sriracha. I picked this one because it has less sodium. It's only 80. And I just hear people talk about this all the time. That is really, really good. And I've noticed I've been liking my veggie spicy. So I figured adding some of this might, you know, be yummy. So we'll try to watch out. Oh, almost forgot. And I also got this coconut milk. Yeah, not coconut. This is, I'm going to take this off for, for a second. Guys, for a second, this is protein nut milk, almond cashew milk, two grams of sugar per serving, ten grams of protein. Um, this is really for protein shake. I'm not gonna make a habit of adding this all the time with every protein shake. I will make a habit of drinking my some of my protein shakes with water, but it is dairy free, soy free. And you get a lot of protein. Um, I don't see any B12 in this, which I'm not worried about B12 because I have something else for my B12. But I just got this to put with waffles and cookies, for my baking dishes, and for my protein shakes. So, and it has a lot of protein in it. So. Then I'll pick up five of these. Just 
when I need it, like I'm, I'm craving it. Not something I do on an everyday basis. I only got five, so. And I like that they're already individually wrapped. So I really don't have to worry about serving size. But that's why I only hate, I hate getting the big bags because you gotta measure out everything. And. Oh yeah, almost forgot. I got these. These are only one ninety nine, seventy percent less fat and forty percent more protein than peanut. And a mame, fry roasted. Um, it's a great source of protein. Ooh, thirteen grams of protein for one third a cup. Wow. I can probably um put this, mix this with something. Mix this with some dark chocolate. It would be really good. Yeah. Some edamame. I used to eat these all the time too when I was vegetarian. Okay. Okay. Um, I opened these. I thought I was going to eat one last night, but I didn't. But I'm going to show you guys. And I've been hearing about these everywhere. Like, everywhere. And actually, one of these is one fourth a cup of fruit, which is interesting. It is an original fruit nut bar, bar bar, chocolate chip cookie dough. It's gluten free, vegan, dairy free, kosher, fair trade, certified chocolate. And they sell it in food line. I was so surprised, but um, it's. Let me see. I want to see the ingredients. It has cashews, dates. Semi sweet chocolate chips, unsweetened chocolate, sugar, cocoa butter, vanilla, sea salt. So, and it's actually 210 calories for one, and about four grams of protein, six grams of sugar. I feel like this is dessert. I feel like it is a treat, and I'm going to treat it as such. I, I thought it would be more like a protein bar. I wouldn't consider this a protein bar with four grams of protein. I would say this isn't like a treat, like a dessert, like if you're craving something sweet, this is where you want to go. But, um, yeah. And it's dairy free and vegan, so you have to check those out. And most of the stuff I really get from Food Line, some of these things I could probably get somewhere else. But, um, most of the time it's just Food Line because Food Line really has it. But Food Line was so busy last night that, ugh. I I'm gonna have to. I know next time when I go back in there, I'm gonna go straight to the produce and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna get what I need to get because when you get like caught up with other stuff, that's when you just will not make it. But and this stuff is a lot of snack stuff because most of my meals are carb dense, protein dense, and I will be stubbing sometimes in the breakfast. I won't be having waffles, I'll be having a protein shake, or I'll be having something else. Because I usually just do veggies and rice or do a curry or bake something. Probably make a pizza, veggie pizza soon. Yeah, because I have the dough and I just, yeah. So I'll probably be doing stuff like that. Um, this is a lower bar. This is peanut butter chocolate chip. It's gluten free. Vegan, dairy free, kosher, fair trade certified. And this one is made with dates, and sweet chocolate chips. It's basically the same stuff as the first one, but this one has 220 calories and it's 6 grams of protein. And I like chocolate, I like peanut butter. Yeah, this is peanut butter chocolate chip. So, I think that's really it. That's all the stuff I really got this time. Like I said, I went more carb dense. I got beans and I got potatoes. I know next time I go, I really need some more veggies. The only veggie I really have is fresh carrots. Um, I didn't really get any tomatoes. I couldn't find any pita bread in there, ironically. I think I might be going to a different store this time around. Um, let me see. But this is good for right now. Like, this is good for now, so I still need to pick up some more veggies. Um, 
might need some oat flour. I'm gonna put a question mark by that one. Veggie sausages, grapefruit, vegan chips, dark chocolate, russet potatoes, and what else? Hold on, corn cutlets. Um, besides the veggies, I'm going to put cucumber, tomato, and um, kale. We're going to try kale this time. And For fresh vegetables, um, I'm not going to really mess with kiwi, and I'm just going to eat grapefruit, really, for the fruit this time. I also need an avocado. And what else? Um, I need some lemon juice. Spread out, spread out, spread out. Actually, I forgot. I need some pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin seeds and I forgot pita bread. I'm just naming all the stuff I still have to purchase. And what else I have on here? And it actually had chia seeds in there, but I was like, I already got some somewhere else. Because they never have chia seeds. And the one time I get chia, want chia seeds, they have them. It's crazy. I didn't need chia seeds and they have them. Um, let me see. Is there anything else going on for getting? I'm actually going to get some tofurkey. Because they had the sliced tofurkey meat. So I will probably... But most of the time I can make my own like bean burgers and stuff like that. And some hummus. Yeah. I think that's really it. So okay, so my next haul, I mean my next time going to the store is probably tomorrow. I gotta go again. I need We got veggies, like cucumber, tomato, and kale, because I'm going to stuff those in a pita bread with hummus and make a sandwich. Oat flour, maybe. Um, or I'll just get Bisquick. Because they do sell that. But I got a big box of Bisquick this time. Then veggie sausages, grapefruit, vegan chips, dark chocolate, russet potatoes again, possibly. Avocado, lemon juice, pumpkin seeds, pita bread, I can also put avocado on. Tofurkey, I got tomatoes and hummus. And I think that's really it. Yeah. So. So that's really it for that. And that's basically my haul. Um, yeah. Until my other stuff comes. Like I'm waiting on my turmeric, my tea, my nutritional yeast. Because like basically that's what I do. I just mix nutritional yeast with veggies and beans. And I eat on that. So that is my haul. Um, I'm going to try to see if I'm going to use the bathroom. So at the very end. And I will 
be back with my weigh-in video. So make sure you guys look for that. And I will definitely see you guys later. Sorry it wasn't really organized. It just, I just wanted to get it done and get it out the way. So that's the video. But um, yeah, I'll see you soon.